What's up, y'all? This your girl, Go Mouth. Um, yesterday on my cancer video, I was asked um, a question, and I said I was gonna do a video a video response. And y'all, I just figured I'll go ahead and do this video. And look, I just woke up like for real. I'm so I be so ashy every time I turn on the camera. Like, look, it's because I always wash my hands. I'm like, I always wash my hands, and then I need some moisturizing lotion. I thought. Maybe I need to put some lotion in my bathroom so when I wash my hands. Well, I got lotion in my bathroom, but it ain't hand washing lotion. Child. Anyway, so my lips all ashy. Oh, what my chaps did. Okay, so anyways, the question that I had was uh, from one of my subscribers. I think her name was, oh, I don't know, Phyllis maybe? Phyllis. Okay, it was a, it was a two question. It was two questions. And I think I'm gonna make two videos because if this video be too long, so um, this is y'all already know cocoa butter chapstick I get from the Dollar Tree, and I absolutely love it. And but the question was, how has cancer affected you mentally? And uh, I'll get to the second question. Um, probably at a later date in another video I don't know we're gonna see okay so I had to write when, when she asked me how has cancer affected me mentally I'm like man I could write a whole essay on on that but I feel like okay let me do a video because a lot of people might want to know this um, and a lot of people gonna hear the answers okay so I had to write it down so anyway I'm, I'm procrastinating again okay so um mentally it changed my whole mood um my whole outlook on life sometimes is like different because even though you know you're gonna be all right even though you can think you're gonna be all right that thought still yeah. even though people will tell you hey it's gonna get better it's gonna get better yeah i understand i feel like it's gonna get better but it's always that thought in the back of your head or somewhere that pop up it might not be there all the time but every now and then um it'll pop up even if i pray even if you pray even if everybody pray you know there's always still that um that crazy thought in your head okay so i have to keep busy and what was the question child yeah so it's that that thought that i don't like okay and another thing is um cancer has affected me mentally by me always wanting to give up a lot of times and pretty much it's like a lot of times i feel like i, I want to stop <clears throat> making youtube videos because um because I feel like sometimes it ain't nobody listening. Even though I know y'all listening, I feel like um, I feel like ain't enough people listening. I don't know. It's because there's a lot of things going on with my YouTube that I mean like, man, I'm finna quit, you know. And then, I, then at the end of the day, I take a break and then I think about all the love that you guys give me and I come back, you know. But it takes me a while. Sometimes I have to just breathe breathe stretch shake and let it go you know oh she blinking now girl yes so um <clears throat> that one and sometimes i know i know you guys care but sometimes it feels like nobody cares because it feels like um i, I be feeling like in my head this is me um if you have never been diagnosed with cancer if you have never been um through chemotherapy and through radiation and have to go to like these appointments every every couple of months to see if you're okay that I feel like sometimes that you don't understand me I feel like that I can't like for real I feel like I can't listen to you because you don't know even though I know I can listen to you and I do listen to everybody but sometimes you get that feeling in the back of your head it's like okay I'm not listening to them they don't know how I feel you ain't never been through this you just always feel it just always feels like that all the time and I feel like um that's just how I feel I'm just being honest even though I know a lot of you guys love me a lot of y'all guys love me for real for real like for real for real so I mean and, and it's and it's crazy, right? Because um, I'm 
I'm just a YouTuber, and y'all can feel me through this camera. I feel that y'all got love for me, and I know that. And thank you guys for loving me, and I, you know I love you back. Okay, and the next one uh, has affected me mentally. Mentally, I feel afraid of people more. I'm more afraid of people, not people, but sick people. Um that are sick because whether you know it or not when you when you go through chemotherapy um it knocks your immune system down all of your white blood cells go down you know that's those are the those are the cells that keep you from fighting off diseases and sicknesses and germs and all of that stuff keep when you take chemotherapy you you get into this zone that okay you gotta wear face masks everywhere you can't get sick because you know if you get sick your, your immune system is already weak so it can't fight it off so right now even though my my immune system is not um as bad as it was when I was taking chemo, my brain don't know that. You know, my brain has not registered to um, I'm strong again. Uh, my brain thinks, okay, if anybody gets sick, I got to get away because I'm going to get sick and I can't get sick and stuff like that. My brain, which is a good thing and a bad thing, a good thing because, okay, you do want to stay from away from anybody who gets sick, but at the same time, you're kind of paranoid if somebody coughed and how I many, I could be like in the store and somebody cough and I'd be like, oh, you know, it's just a sense of paranoia, not because they got germs, but it's because. I don't need their germs. I can't get their germs because when you're taking chemotherapy, they tell you stay away from sick people. Pretty much, stay away from hospitals. Stay away from. They tell you. They told me to stay away from the, the stores. Don't go to Walmart. Don't go into stores where in a peak hour there's a lot of people there. That's what they told me when I was taking chemo. So I felt like I I felt pretty much trapped in my own little room that I was in. Uh, remember I used to record those videos back in the day? Well, last year when I was in the, in the cancer center, I felt like trapped in that room and I felt like I live in a bubble, like nobody can be around me if they sick. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm a real fr friendly person and I love, love people, but it's just like, if you sick, then I'm scared. <laughs> I don't know, y'all. I don't. I guess that's how I explain it, y'all. If y'all ever been through it, then y'all let me know. Even not even just cancer. If y'all ever been through sicknesses or any kind of ailments that that made you feel like that, you know, let me know. Let me know in the comment section that I'm not the only one by myself. And um, oh, and another thing, I'm very very sensitive of other people now. Um, I was always sensitive of people's feelings and. Uh, sicknesses before like sick people uh, but even more now that when people homeless or 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 doing bad or anything I feel so compelled to give even though I ain't got nothing you know I ain't got nothing to get nobody but I feel compelled to help them you know if they need help I feel like I need to help them because I, I was so sick, y'all. I didn't come on camera when I was so, so, so sick because I couldn't. I was in intensive care, you guys. Um, a lot of y'all may not know because I couldn't record videos in intensive care. And I wasn't even aware that I was in intensive care um, until I was out and in a regular room. And it took me three rooms to, to get to a room. I was in intensive care. I, I don't know what you call it. I see you. And then I was in, I forgot what you called it, the, the second room. And then I finally went to a normal room when I was in the hospital. So, um, and I wasn't even aware. I just knew I was changing rooms, but I didn't know why. And then my husband told me that I was in real, like, critical condition um, when I was first admitted to the hospital. So, I just thank God I'm here now. I, you know, I couldn't tell you that before because I didn't even know. But... That's why I feel, like, real sensitive to people who sick, you know, because a lot of times people sick and don't even know they sick, you know, because it's, it's, it's a mental thing that make you think you're okay when you're not. Now, sometimes it's a mental thing that make you think that you're not okay when you are. It goes both ways. Like, it, it really does go both ways. Like, before, I, mentally, it was making me think I was okay when I wasn't. Now, it be making me think I'm not okay when I am. So, uh, I can't, y'all, I can't explain it. I can't explain it, but that's just how it is. If you can understand me, then fine. If not, I don't, I don't know. But, um, 
Oh, uh, okay. Um, uh, another thing is this very, very, very should have been on the top of my list. Um, every time right now, every time I feel a pain in my body, I freak out. I get paranoid. I don't care what the pain is. Like, I freak all the way out. Like, I get scared. And um, even though it's nothing, it, it could be something really small. My my face could be hurting right here, and I'd be like, oh, my God, oh, my God, Jesus, help me. <laughs> I straight go to tripping, like, you know, but mostly in my body here. If I have a pain in my back, a pain in my side, if, my, if, my, if I'm hurting right here, it don't matter. I get paranoid and when i say paranoid i mean in paranoid is okay um because the doctor always told me that okay the cancer can come back you know the cancer is not going to come back we're going to just go ahead and put that out there in the, in the atmosphere right now but the doctor said you know that's how it works not saying that it will but the doctor said that it can. So that's the reason why I go to the doctor every three months to get checked. So I'm paranoid with everything. And I don't want to be. I pray to God that I, I, I don't be. But a lot of times it's hard to um, fight that off. And I know a lot of people say, oh, that's just the devil. Uh, you can't blame everything on the devil. Sometimes it's just yourself thinking too much. Yeah, for real. That's how I feel. I feel like sometimes it's just me thinking too much. And... That just is what it is, okay? So, um, my anxiety level is, like, way up there. Like, I already had anxiety before now, but the anxiety I be feeling now, it be, like, through the roof. And I cry a lot more. Any little thing make me cry. Even happy stuff make me cry. I just be, I'm so sensitive, y'all. If uh, I'm real sensitive. For, for example... When I see more than one person, when I see the same person buy a bonnet again, and they already bought a bonnet before, I just be in here crying, wrapping the packages. I'll be, be like, because it's not because they bought the bonnet. It's because they actually cared enough to buy another one or they liked my work enough to buy another one. And that makes me feel so good, you know, that I can actually... Um, make somebody else's day or make somebody else happy by the things that I, I I'm actually made you know my website is not like a website that I just went and bought some stuff in bulk from Costco or whatever and reselling it to you my work is something that I put my heart and my soul in and and I try to make these buns with the best of my ability um and it just makes me happy when some when I have a repeat customer. It makes me so 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 happy, and I just be like, my God, I, am I really am I really this? You know, I don't know what to say. Did they, they, they really love my work this much, or did they love me this much, or whatever? It don't matter. But I'm just like, I'm real thankful now. I, I'm 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 very much more thankful for the things and the blessings that God has. Uh, placed in my life and the people like you guys that God has put in my life. I'm very, very thankful. Um, before, before now, um, I loved you guys, but now I really love you guys because I guess it took me to go through something in order for me to understand you guys um, because I never knew nobody liked me or even cared about me that much until you guys when i read you guys comments on congratulations or, you know you don't have to say congratulations to me like when i have a good um doctor's visit you don't have to say nothing but you you take the time out to write your comment under my video and that and that lets me know that you care even that much more because you could have been watching somebody else's video you could have clicked off the video you didn't have to say nothing you know you took the time to comment on my videos and like my videos and i really really do appreciate that you know i'm very i'm very thankful for that and i love you guys man um i think that's about it if anybody else have any more questions that they want to ask me feel free feel free i'm i'm open I'm, I'm very very much open you know i'm open if i put my business out there like this y'all so um let me know if you guys have any more questions any video responses i mean requests or responses if, if you can um any of that but 
anyways you guys thank you guys so much and by the way this bunnet right here is the ipod bunnet that's what i call it it's mp3 players and ipods on it i'm gonna take this, this half and show you guys the back of this bunnet what it looks like um i call it the ipod bunnet because it's a bunch of ipods and mp3 players but anyways y'all um thank you guys so much for your questions and your concerns and stay tuned to the next video and that's all i got to say in this video and i will holla at y'all later bye